Hi everyone, I thought I'd just make a quick uh, presentation or voiceover of some options for life insurance. I am now back in the industry, working for a very, very large firm, offering complete comprehensive cover for life insurance for yourself and your loved ones all across the UK. So I've got two slides, um, both with different levels of cover, and just to explain what it means. So the first one is just a selection of a few providers we work with, just with a breakdown of how much the cost would be. So to start with, look at the left hand side, we've got here life cover, and this is the amount payable directly to your loved ones if you was to pass away, for, for an example. Now the amount of cover says £500,000, and it means that if anything happens to you in the next 30 years, as you can see, then this money will be released to your family for whatever reason they need it for. Now below that is the price comparisons. This is the amount you'd spend on that, and within that is you don't have to choose any particular company and worry who you're choosing with because the only difference with these providers is actually the level of cover you will receive. So what they do is they base their price on how much they would like to charge surrounding £500,000 of life cover. Now within that, there is slight differences. For example, some companies offer different benefits like private medical concerns or they also offer discounts in regards to stores and access to different areas that can benefit you as an individual, which I'm happy to talk about with you guys. Now. You see the smaller box underneath Canada Life, the first option, it says the word de facto. Now this is something you guys may have seen on travel insurance websites, car insurance websites. Just as a quick tip, it's actually something really, really useful to look out for in the future. This actually determines the quality of a insurance provider, regardless of what the insurance product is. So it can be car insurance, pet insurance maybe, um, house insurance, lots of different things. And life insurance is a massive, massive key one. The only difference with life insurance is the majority of providers have a five-star rating, meaning they're an extremely, extremely good company. Whereas you may see just below, HSBC are currently a three-star rated company, not because they're a not good provider, because everyone knows the bank. The reason why is because it's a new product, meaning they can't have a five-star rated option yet because they need to have a timescale of policies to make sure it's a comprehensive cover, which we already know it is in regards to that. So what I'm trying to elaborate within that is that the policies we look at I will only offer the most comprehensive first, the best quality of provider, and make sure it's tailored to your needs. And within that as well, the right-hand side is the basket total. So this is the amount of money you spend per month to protect that £500,000. Things to take from that is the more you spend, the more cover you get. But just a bit of reassurance for anyone that is thinking of spending money on life insurance and protecting their family or their assets, wherever it may be, these prices are fixed and guaranteed, meaning the price will never, ever go up in the future. Now, the other side of it was my second slide, is just an example of a higher payout. Nothing else to be complicated with, just an extra 250,000 pounds, as you can see again in the top left-hand side. This means that the providers will charge more for it because all it simply means is if you was to pass away, it means they've got to pay out more money, meaning they've got to charge more on that insurance product. Now, the reason I'm making the video is because I am happy to speak to anyone that sees this in regards to their current life insurance needs. If they have life cover, I'm happy to do a free review to make sure they're on a good comprehensive provider and make sure they're paying the right premium. But most importantly, because I wish to make sure that if you have something in your life to protect, all we do is establish what you'd like to protect. And the most of the time, it's your children. So if you've got young kids, seeing as I'm approaching 30 years old now, I can imagine a lot of people on my friends list have young children. And if you haven't got life cover, what it does, it just basically makes sure that if the worst happens to you tomorrow or in the years to come, you can make sure your family are fully taken care of financially. How it works is if you was to pass away, this exact figure will be paid directly to your family and can be used for a number of different things. The most common things we use to protect is a mortgage to make sure that the house doesn't get repossessed if we pass away. The child's upbringing to make sure food's on the table, educational costs, university costs, business costs, even a mortgage down payment and even perhaps even your grandkids if you used to pass away at a later age. But the other part of that is, you know, if we haven't got anything in place at the moment, you can sometimes just leave a nest egg. So regardless of what happens in the future, you can make sure your family are financially protected. That's a summary of life insurance as a whole. But just in regards to what you covered for, the comprehensive providers will cover you on something called all eventualities. What it simply means is there's nothing they don't cover you for in regards to death. The most common ways that people pass away is through natural causes, which is of course covered. Accidental, so for example, car accidents, accidents at work or whilst on a holiday. And the most common claim is unfortunately medical-based deaths. So if you get a medical condition in the future, regardless if you've had a medical condition in the past, you'll be fully covered regardless of the, um, the event of you passing away. 
So if any of you would like to talk about that with me, or if you have any concerns in regards to financial protection in your family, or just want to review, I'm happy to talk to you anytime. Any questions, feel free to give me a call or drop me a message and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for listening, guys, and see you soon. Bye.